I don't, I don't mean to hurt nobody's feelings. I'm just, I guess, a rude dude. I don't mean to be that way. That's just the way I, I want to ask. I, I live in Gainesville. Now, I don't care what you guys do in Mississippi. You for sports, against sports, I don't give a flip. You do whatever you want. Uh, I'm not trying to pastor nobody. I'm just trying to help you. I live in idolatry city. Now, now let me help you with this. Contrary to what you may think, the issue is not sports. The issue is worship. The issue isn't being a fan. The issue is idolatry. So you go to your games or watch them on TV or do whatever you want. I have, I have no problem. Do what you want. But I want to know, when you get your caucus in the church, are you going to be a statue or are you going to be... Are you going to start jumping? Are you start running? Are you going to act uproariously? Are you going to act hilariously? Are you going to act what seemingly is absurd? You mean you're going to do for a ball game what you would not do for Jesus Christ? Whose fool are you? Sit down, sit down. I don't want you walking out here saying, Brother Arnold's on some kind of holiness kick. Let me tell you what, Jack. Football ain't got nothing to do with holiness. Baseball, basketball, you're, you're out of your mind. Has to do with adoration, allegiance, and commitment, and what's a priority in your life. But now, I'm going to say this kind as I can. Don't get mad at me, all you, you, you critiquers. Don't get mad at me. You, whatever you're doing, fine. I'm the only guy, Matthew, that's one of our fellows from Gainesville, Matthew. I'm, even when you was growing up, I was the only pastor that I knew in the entire city of Gainesville that didn't go to the Gator games. I'm the only guy. Everybody else got front row tickets. I'm a moron. I'm a fool. I'm an idiot. I, I'm bigoted. I'm biased. I'm whacked. Fine. I, in fact, I'm so anti-Gator, I don't even drink Gatorade. Tomorrow, I'm in Gainesville 31 years. 31 years. Haven't got it right yet, but I'm there 31 years. Now watch, watch. A few months ago, don't get mad at me. A few months ago, I said, you know, folks, Sunday morning, place is packed. I said, you know, I've been looking at all this stuff. I've been, I've been such a narrow-minded idiot. And I asked you not to do this and not to do that, trying to help you get spiritual. And... Uh, you know, I'm reevaluating my position on going to the games. Doc, when I said that, I had never had so much attention in all my life. Every carnal bimbo was up on their rear end and up on the tips of their toes going, whoa. And all the senior saints were going, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Help him, Lord. Help him, Lord. Help him, Lord. There's a deceiving spirit on him. Now, I'm only taking a second for a commercial. So I said, you know what? Maybe I've been wrong about all this ball game stuff. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe it won't affect us. Maybe I'm just a, a wussified, weak-kneed wacko. Fine. I'll tell you what. If we decide this year to buy a season's pass, and we start going to the games. By the way, the tickets are 200 bucks each, minimum. I said, uh, I'm willing to consider going if you'll meet my four conditions. Lay it on us, preacher. Lay it on us. I said, first place, the game's four hours. I said, some of you crazy folks come with leaving on your mind. This is the best thing that you could ever be involved with. Is the church of the Lord Jesus Christ in the kingdom of God? I'm not trying to cause no trouble. Please don't misread what I'm saying. Go to your ball games, dance with the cheerleaders, do what you want. I don't care. Just do what you want. Fine. But their games are four hours. We're here an hour and a half, and maybe we have a blowout. We got two hours, maybe. 
I said, so I don't want to hear no griping about you if I preach long. Wait a minute, wait a minute, point number two. You can't get a seat for less than 200 bucks. Some of you people got super glue on your fingers. Some of you folks wouldn't tithe if Jesus asked you to tithe. I said, you'll pay 200 bucks to watch nine or 11 fools run down the hallway there, and they got the morals of a barnyard dog and couldn't tell the truth standing on the Bible looking at Jesus, and you're in a stand. Yeah, yeah, wow, yeah, wow. And I said, point number three, the place is baptized with emotion, and here you sit. And none of them can forgive your sins. And none of them can give you a brand new future. And none of them can take care of your past. If we're going to make some noise, if we're going to act a little foolish, we ought to get foolish for the Lord of glory. Now, that wasn't in my sermon. That was free. 